1893 in Chicago at the World's Columbian Exposition, Cody was uh, proclaiming in his Wild West show that the frontier was still alive, and this was what was going on, and he, and he showed scenes in, this, in the show. On the other side of town, Frederick Jackson Turner was giving his thesis that the frontier was closed. The people in the East were reading uh, Turner's thesis that the frontier was closed. This brought about a great nostalgia for the West. They were afraid that it was going to be uh, disappearing and they would never see it again. And so this had an impact on Cody's Wild West show. They wanted to see it before the frontier totally disappeared. Also, it had a great impact on um, the immigrants that were coming into the country in great droves at this time. This is one way that they learned the history of their new country was, was by seeing Cody's Wild West show, despite the fact that Frederick Jackson Turner had said, it's all over with, we've gotten the, the manifest destiny that we wanted. I think it was always a lie for him. Um, and I think that was his uh, purpose to show that it was still alive, even though it progressed into the age of automobiles and uh, you know, I'm sure if, if planes had been able to land on the Wild West field, he'd have showed those too eventually. Hmm. But um, yeah, I think he planned on keeping it alive, not that it was ever dead in his opinion. Hmm. I see a dichotomy in Mr. Cody. On one side, you've got Buffalo Bill, the showman, who wanted to show the people of the East the savagery of the Indians that they had been reading about in newspapers. Newspapers did not report that uh, one Indian helped a white settler or uh, the white settlers got along with the next Indian tribe. They heard about the atrocities that were perpetuated by the Indians on the white settlers. So this is what he showed in his Wild West show. On the other hand, he uh, allowed the Indians to be equals at, as far as showing their horsemanship with the Russian Cossacks and the Mexican Gauchos and the U.S. Cavalry. You also have, on the other side of the coin, William Frederick Cody, who made friends with Sitting Bull, who was the mastermind of Custer's defeat. You have him allowing visitors to the Wild West show behind the scenes to see Indians in their tents, in their daily lives, uh, cooking and feeding their children and playing with their children and just living lives as ordinary Americans.